so here you can add the title and you can also add the description and you can also add the date and once you hit add to diary what we want to do is store whatever there is inside our input into the database so that is what we want to do right now so when you click on add to diary we want to save that to database so let's go to our form and here in our action field we need to add a path and this is going to be a unique path and create a route for this path all right because when we click this add to diary we want to go to that path and in that path we would want to save this data in our database all right it's more easier if i just show you this all right so let's go here and in our action let's say slash add to diary okay so this is the new path and we also need to create another attribute right here which is the method okay and the method is going to be post all right now till now we have learned that when you create the route you use app dot get method all right now this is because whenever you are requesting for a URL or whenever you are requesting for a particular page you're actually sending an HTTP request all right and the type of that request is get and whenever you are actually uh, saving data or posting a data from the form the type of the request that you are sending to the server is post and not get instead of this method you can also write get but that would be less secure all right however post method is more secure so when you want to actually work along with the data or work along with the form the method with which you would want to work would be post all right now let's create this route in our app.js right so here what i'm going to do is create a comment and say route for saving diary and now instead of app.get what we're going to do is say app.get post all right and the reason we are doing this is because here in our method we have added post if the method was get we would have to do app dot get however get is less secure when you're actually working with data and instead of get we use post because post is more secure all right so let's add a post here and now the rest is the same thing all right so first we're going to create the path for the route which is slash add to diary all right this path and the next thing is going to be a callback function with request and response and now here what we're going to do is create a code for adding the whatever input we have given in our database but for now let's just say response dot send and let's say add all right let's save that and let's see if this works or not so if i refresh this let's just add a uh, random inputs all right and random date and now if i click to add to diary okay so it's taking me to this path which is slash add to diary and here since we have created the route and we have send the text add it's giving me add now let's see what happens if you do if you create the method get instead of post it's not like you can't do it you can let me show you and instead of this post let's just say get and let's try that out again right so you add the title you add the description you add the date add to diary and it's still giving you this ad right and it's still taking me to add to diary but now what you can here find is the title and the description and the input of the date is being flashed here all right so you would not want that all right when you're actually think about it when you're creating a login file or when you're creating uh, register form all right you would not want the data to come here all right you would want your data to be secured and that's why instead of this get method we used post method in such cases right so if you create post and now if you do if I do the same thing again 
data data and if I add cannot get add to diary huh all right I haven't saved this all right now if I now if I go back again and do the same stuff and if I add to diary and now you'll see that the inputs is not being shown right here right the inputs that I gave that is not being shown here that's because I have used the post method and that and that is the reason why I'm saying post method is more secure than get all right so now we've created this route and what we need to do here is create a code that will actually um, save the input that whatever I've typed to the database but first before saving into the database we need to actually get that input right here all right and whatever we have typed in our input field we need to get it here so in order to do that you need to install another dependency or module called body parser and what it will let you do is whatever inputs that you have given in an in an input field or a form it will help you retrieve that all right so what I'm going to do is create another terminal by clicking this right here and I'm going to say npm install body parser all right and you need to add this hyphen right here and if I press enter the body parser module will be installed and now let me go to the top and here let's say const body parser equals to require body parser all right it should be hyphen right here because when you actually import from node modules <coughs> the body parser name is like this so it should be the same and now let me just show you let's go to new tab and let me type body parser and let's go to the first link here which is this npmjs.com and here let me show you something so this is how I installed body parser by saying npm install body parser and then I required it like this now in order to use in order to be able to use body parser in your application you need this two code which is right here all right app dot use body parser dot URL encoded extended to false and app dot use body parser dot JSON these two are the middlewares for body parser so let me just let's just copy this all right and in our app dot JS let's come right here and let me comment body parser middle where right and let's just paste that and right here let me create a capital P because here in our code it's written the P is in caps all right that's why I'm changing it okay so now since, since you have added these two middlewares all right you'll be able to use body parser in your application and basically what it does is it helps you retrieve the data not retrieve but it will help you get the data from the input field so if I come down here now instead of res dot send add here what I'm going to do is remove this now instead of this res I'm going to use this request all right so I'm going to say request dot body all right and I'm just going to save this and let's see what happens so let's go back let's refresh this and let's set the title to post one and description to this is post one all right let's also set the date and now if I click add to diary and there you go it's actually giving me an object with the title the description and the date all right so whatever input that I've given is actually showing right here because I have said request dot body all right so 
by using body parser what happens is that the whatever input that you give or whatever input that you insert will be saved in request.body all right and you can actually use request.body in order to get those data not only that you can also do request.body.title in order to get separate data all right so let me refresh this let's click continue and there you go instead of the object now you have just post one because you requested for the title all right so now we have access to the input fields all right the data that we have added to the input fields we have actually access to that with the help of body parser now what we need to do is save those data in our database now we haven't actually connected our application with our database so that's what we're going to do next all right